got my alarm clock. No batteries. Wonder what time it is. Wonder what day it is. Morning, Fang. Do you know what day it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess it's not a school day then, cos if it was, I'd have had the worm and mum and maybe even Dad yelling at me by now. Though, if it's the weekend, then it can't be very late, cos Mum usually wakes me up mega early anyway to do my chores or make my bed or some other thing that my mean, horrible parents think is going to somehow make my life better. Not. Uh, if you don't mind. It's OK, you can look now. I'm supposed to be horrid. You coming or what? <laughs> good morning, everyone. Henry. Oh, I'm sorry. I should have said good morning, worm. Shh. Where's Mum anyway? She's working. Working? But isn't it the weekend? She's still working and... Oh, where's Dad then? He's gone out to get some shopping and... His packet's empty. Yes, I know. There's none left and... There's no sweet tweets left. That's what I've been trying to tell you. No! You said she was working. She is. She's doing the accounts for Mr Bossy. I mean, Mr Mossy. And she's working in the dining room. Well, you could have told me. I tried to, but you wouldn't listen. How come there's no sweet tweets? Dad's gone to get some. You could have told me that too. <sighs> sometimes, Henry. Sometimes what, Worm? Just sometimes, Henry. And don't call me Worm. Or else... Or else I'll call you a beastly bog brush or a tepid tea strainer or a soppy sink holder or a... a... Peter? Sorry, <laughs> Mum. I forgot myself. Well, I hope you haven't forgotten the pizza. What pizza? The pizza that Dad's getting for tea if we can stay quiet for long enough so Mum can get her work finished. Pizza from the Golden Gate Garden Centre! I'm having the single layer because I'm worth it special pizza. Then I'm having the triple layer all you can eat without falling over special. But only if you can keep quiet, Henry. Oh, yes. I'm really good at keeping quiet. Look, this is me keeping quiet. Not a word. Just me being quiet. Remember, boys. Silence, Silence is golden. Shh. Henry. <laughs> It's not funny, Henry. Sorry, Worm. Don't call me Worm. Your crayons are too noisy. <gasps> Shh, Henry. Pour quietly. What do you mean, pour quietly, Worm? What do you think I mean, Bob Brush? Now look what you made me do. What you made you do, you mean? That doesn't even make sense. Does? Doesn't! Does! 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 Doesn't! Doesn't! The silence is golden! Yes, Peter, silence is golden! Remember, Henry, silence is golden. Shh! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Center pizzas are the best. All that cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And other stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, who knows what she'll do now, but I said to her, if she does that now, then I'll just have to do something about it, won't I? Oi! Bogey brain! Who are you calling bogey brain? I mean, shh! Oh, hang on a minute. I've got to deal with a snot brain. What do you mean? Shh! Somewhere else to talk on the phone! What are you talking about? Go somewhere else. I am somewhere else. I'm in my own back garden, and you can't stop me talking on the phone in my own back garden. I know I can't, but. Well then, if you know you can't, then why should I stop? Well, that worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brain tells me I've got to stop. I have rights, you know, and I have more rights in my own back garden. He has got no rights, and it's about time someone told him he's got no rights. Ah, oh, there you are, Mr. You've Got No Right to Tell Me What to Do in My Own Back Garden. Shh. Yes, I know I've got no right to tell you what to do in my own back garden. Yes, in your own back garden, or anywhere else for that matter. What's going on, Henry? Nothing. Something's going on, Henry. I know you too well to know that nothing's going on. All right, then. Mum's working today and she needs complete quiet because she's doing Mr Bossy, I mean Mr Mossy's accounts, and if we can keep quiet, we'll get a pizza. What pizza? A Golden Gate Garden Centre pizza. Really? All right, then, how much is it worth? How much is what worth? For me to keep quiet so you get your pizza. Oh, uh... Half of your pizza? Uh, what? Yes, OK. Deal. And Henry? What? Silence is golden, eh? Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> We're just being very quiet so Mum can work. Good. Well, that's what I'm calling about. What? Whether you've been quiet enough to deserve your pizza. Me? Whether I've been quiet enough? Yes! Yes, I have! Hmm. How do I know that? What do you mean, how do you know? I can't ask Mum, can I? Then put Peter on the phone. Really? You really want to talk to Peter? Yes, I'll hold. Yes, Dad. Of course, Dad. Can you believe this? Yes, Dad. Yes, I have. Well? He's on his way back. With the pizzas? Yes, with the pizzas. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Shh! It certainly is quiet in here. Two Golden Gate Garden Centre pizzas for two boys who know that... Silence is gone! <laughs> and one sticky toffee pudding for the boy who managed to keep Henry quiet. You what? Ooh, yummy! Thanks, Dad. That's not fair! I was the one who kept everything quiet! The worm had nothing to do with it! Don't be horrid, Henry. Mine, I believe! <laughs> So, when you divide that by this, you can add this to that, and the net result is zero. 
Any questions? Is the net result always zero? What do you mean, Brian? I mean, when you divide that by this and add this to that, is the net result always zero? What kind of a question is that, Brian? Well, in my grown-up book of math sums, it says that sometimes the net result can be zero, zero. What do you think, Miss Battleaxe? Well... Honestly, Henry, maths never hurt anyone. Whoa, you should have seen it, Brian. It was pretty scary. It was pretty funny, more like Henry. Never seen you faint before. It was even funnier when old Bogey Brain offered to give you the kiss of life. Yuck! Really? Yeah, really. <laughs> I hate grapes. Don't be horrid, Henry. But I know someone else who loves grapes. Look! A flying saucer full of number gnomes! Really? Really? Yes! Out there! Just over old Bogey Brain's house! Ugh. Don't be horrid, Henry. Well, gotta go. <gasps> the grapes have all gone! Henry! Maybe the aliens ate them! Three, two, one. Give me back my grapes! I haven't got them. I know you took them, Henry. But I don't know why. It's a mystery, Peter. A mystery of the universe. Oh, Henry! Sometimes. Sometimes what? Just sometimes, Henry. <coughs> the great, big, great mystery, eh, Fang? Hope you enjoy them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You've eaten them already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, boys. Hello, Peter's mother. We're going to look through my new telescope. Have fun playing with Peter's new telescope. Oh, we're not playing, Peter's mother. We're going to discover a new planet. Well, that's nice. Tea will be ready in ten minutes. It might take us a bit longer than that. Could we have tea in 25 minutes? Of course you can, Bunnykins. Tea in 25 minutes. <laughs> tea in 25 minutes, Henry. Thanks, Mum. Tea time, boys. About time, too. I'm really hungry. I wonder if the worms found any planets yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eureka! That's it! Sorry, Fang. I need this grape. Hey. I'll explain later. <laughs> Henry! Coming, Mum! Oh, there you are, Henry. You don't want your carrot pie to go cold. That was a truly scrumptious tea, Peter's mother. Aren't you going to say hello to Martin? Hello, Martin. I'm just going to look through my telescope again. Say hello to Martin, Henry. Why? What's he doing here? He's come to babysit. Why? Where are you going? Margaret's mum and dad have invited us over for canapes. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Don't be horrid, Henry. Now, where did I put my phone? Oh, thank you, Martin. Hi, Martin. Henry! Yes, 
worm? You'll never guess what. Nope, I'll never guess what. I've discovered a planet! You have? Yes, 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 it's round and green. Yes, how did you know? Just a guess. <laughs> the perfect Peter planet. That's what I'll call it. Hello, is that the Department of New Planets? Yes, I'd like to report the discovery of a new planet. <laughs> it worked! Operation Planet of the Grapes worked! Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we can go take a look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, oh yes. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Go for it, Fang! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Henry! <laughs> Henry! What? Oh, you're here. Yep, reckon I am. What do you want? I want to thank you, Henry. Thank me? Why? You had faith in me! I did? Yes, you did! When I got my telescope for my birthday, you said I could discover a new planet with it! <laughs> Oh, yes, I did. And you inspired me to call it the perfect Peter planet. I'm sure that's not what I said. Well, that's the name it will be known by forevermore. What do you mean? Oh, that'll be the press. We're going to be famous, Henry. The press? Famous? We? Yes. We'll be like Wilbur and Orville. Who? Huh? Wilbur and Orville Wright. They built the very first successful aeroplane. All the Marx Brothers. I'm pretty sure there were more than two of them. Hello. Heard about the new discovery? The most exciting thing to happen today. They're uh, holding the front page. A press briefing first. You what? I mean, you want to know how brilliant Peter is before he shows you his discovery, right? Okay, why not? Phew. Now all I've got to do is find another grape. Can you believe it? Normally we have grapes coming out of our ears, but now when I need one, can I find a grape? Okay, I know it's not green, but it will have to do. Fang! Fang! And I owe it all to my big brother. How did you spell his name again? H E N. <laughs> Fang! If you can hear me, do not eat this grape! Where I keep my telescope. May I? I be my guest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fun! No! Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to make a great story. Yeah, alien hamster eats perfect planet in one bite. <laughs> oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, hello, Martin. All quiet on the Henry front. Morning, Henry. Morning. You might find this interesting, Henry. Want to tell me about it, Henry? Oh, it's 
complicated. 